Hey, got a favor to ask you. Figure while we're out here in the wilderness anyhow, we might stop in on an old friend of mine. Okay. Preferably before we get to Hiram's. It's on the way, don't worry. You don't seem the type to run off and get yourself killed, and I could use the help. Well, I definitely don't plan on getting myself killed. That is true. Well, we'll see about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be up front with you. I hate asking for help. I hate it. Every time I give someone the opportunity to disappoint me, they seem to make it their most immediate goal. Noted. But this, what I'm thinking, it's dangerous. Uh-oh. I'm honored you're asking and thrilled to accept. <laughs> no, no. Uh, what, 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 what kind of danger are we talking about here? Nothing I can't, we can't handle. All right. I used to run with a band of hunters. Friends. Six of us. We were on Monarch when the corporations pulled out, and we helped a lot of people pick up the pieces. I haven't seen two of them in years, and the rest I know to be dead. I'd like to gather their effects and bury them all in the same places, like the family we once were. Okay. Uh, how do you know those other guys are dead? I saw it happen. Fair. Hell, one of them was in my arms at the time. Sad. His name was Hayes, and he's our first stop. I buried him away from our encampment. I'll show you where he rests. He had a medallion in his effects. That's what I'll bring home to bury. Have you uh, properly paid your gravesite fees for that? Also, where exactly is home? A long time ago, we built an encampment in one of Monarch's cave systems. Trouble is, a mana queen showed up and kicked us all out. I shouldn't have asked. If we can find Rebecca and Anders, they'll know how to lure her out. I should Then we kill the bitch and bury everyone's medallions together. I really... I really shouldn't have asked. Oh, yes. I can't wait. Great. Just, 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 just fucking amazing. Just, just fucking amazing. Well, the main quest is 726 meters that away. I bet if we uh, look at the map, we'll find a closer one than that. Where the hell am I? Where the hell am I? I'm, I must be, yeah, I'm, I'm right here. All right, uh, the secret people and Bolt with his name. And the main quest is, oh, the main quest is way the hell down here. Okay. So yeah, there's a, there's a lot going on here on Monarch. Let's go for the secret people. That is, uh, Braxton's house to the south. Well, not Braxton's house, but the house, Bra the house to which Braxton was going off to the south. I'm sure that'll be fun. Hold on to your hats, children. This ride is about to get ugly. You'll get used to it. Give it 10 or 15 years. Also, Max, it's very rude to say hold on to your hats when not everyone in the team is wearing a hat. See? We have the cool cowboy hats. She has her also cool hair. She has cool hair. That's why we have hats and she right. doesn't. Here's the road. Follow it south. No. Can't make me... Oh. Shh. By the way. Here we go. Max, you sounded really upset there. I, I, I kind of don't blame you, but you sounded really upset. the law we are unstoppable sure let's go with that i wonder what secrets these ruins contain don't bother knocking on any doors if anyone's inside they're liable to respond with gunfire hmm 
What about, uh, Raptodons? What if they're inside? Alright, nobody shoot this, but I'm gonna use it as a stepping stone to get up here. Because I would like to be elevated when we take on this... Oh, fuck me. This is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. Here we go! That's the last time. Oh. Okay, so are we ridiculously overpowered, or are Raptodons much less scary than I think they are? Or is it both? So, uh, Braxton was going toward this house, which probably didn't end well for him, but let's see. Hello? Is anyone home? A visitor? What an unexpected surprise. Please, come in. Come in. Hi. I'm getting real bad fight or flight right now. Watch your step. People ain't this friendly outside city walls. Say it louder, Nioka. I, for one, welcome a reprieve from our travels. That is, if you'll have us, kind sir. That's the spirit. Now come in. Make yourselves comfortable. Mm-hmm. Right. Actually, uh, we're, 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 we're kind of looking for a fella. I'm afraid we don't get many visitors out here. The raptodons and marauders scare off all but the boldest. Mm-hmm. And if you've braved them, you must be exhausted. Why don't you stay for dinner? I can't. Are you sure you haven't seen him, though? I'm sure I would remember something like that. Now, quit fretting yourself about that. Make yourself at home. Dinner's almost ready. Uh-huh. Something ain't right about this. No shit. No shit, something ain't right, lady. But you don't say it out loud to the people who were just sitting down to their condom-headed dinner. I mean, their penis-looking fuck. I mean, their what is on your head? That is the tightest, reddest beanie I have ever seen. Also, who are you? Oh, hello there. You come for... for, uh, dinner? Maybe? Sorry, I'm not real good with, um, uh, names. Uh-huh. <laughs> you run short of a ladder, ain't you? Oh, God, it's such a good line. It's such a good line. Hello, Henry CS. Good to see you here. We're about to insult this child right to his face. This, you know, 42-year-old looking child. You got a funny way of putting things. I used to be good with words. Used to be, huh? But it feels like there's this fog. I... Sorry, have we talked about this before? Interesting. What's going on here, kid? That's nice of you. I usually feel better after I eat. Mama said dinner's almost ready, huh? Uh, I'm gonna leave you alone now and run screaming for the hills. Um. Hi, Edgar. Listen. Maybe, um. Martha, do you know that your husband and son are acting weird, but I'm sure you're totally fine? What a pleasant surprise. Oh, boy. And just when I was beginning to fear we'd seen the last of good company for a spell. On account of the murderous murder beast Yet outside? the Eternal provides, does it not? <laughs> Only if you give yourself over to the plan, Martha. May I call you Martha? By all means, just make yourself comfortable. Company is always a reason for cheer. Max, you are... so gonna die one day. Uh, I, I, yeah, if, if you're so happy to have people, why not live where there are, mm, people? The Eternal does not desire that we huddle and hide, crowded in by walls. We all share the spark of the divine, and we were made to spread it across the stars. Right. Out here, we are free. And even apart from society, 
The universe provides for us, as your being here proves. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, yeah, what do you mean by that? Just that your presence here is a gift to us, and one that we don't take for granted. Look at me, prattling on as if this gravy is going to cook itself. Why don't you run along until we are ready for dinner? Right. Yeah, this is, um... Hmm. Well. Look, I'm sure you folks are very nice. And also, you won't mind if I just, um, go investigate upstairs, would you? Because we're totally going and investigating up. Oh, hi. Hi. Hello. Glad I didn't steal the first thing that wasn't nailed down. Hi. Hi. Oh, hi there. Did you come to bring us more of those rocket candies? Ah, uh, yes. Rocket candy. I certainly have rocket candy somewhere. That's wonderful. Uh -huh. It was this other man who used to bring them. Not anymore, though. What happened to this other man? Why does he not come here anymore? He said they were making us sick. Mom and Papa got real mad at him for that. Mm. They went to have a talk with him. Afterwards, they said he wasn't coming back again. Okay. So, Mama and Papa murdered the man. Got it. Got it. Okay. Mama and Papa said he came from the city. Right. When we got sick one time, he brought those candies to make us well again. I see. And they worked. Now we feel better than ever. Mama says they're a gift from the Eternal. Okay. So, Mama and Papa are drugging the kids to keep them stupid, basically. And Braxton saw what was happening and had the temerity to say something about it. Got his stupid ass killed. Right. I don't know. I'm not really supposed to talk to strangers. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well. Okay. Maybe I'll see you at dinner. The way she said that reminded me of a rat licking its chops. Be careful. Yeah, that's the seventh time someone in this house has said the word dinner. And each time someone says it, I become more and more convinced that, um, oh, I or you... Or you might, um, be the aforementioned dinner. Anyway, if there's a farm or a thick southern or Appalachian twang, they're cannibals. Well, yeah, probably. Um. Don't mind me just going upstairs looking through your bedrooms. Don't mind me, just picking your locks. Don't mind me, just... They sulfur sodden oh, asshole. Oh, boy. Ain't enough that the raps eat everyone? Now people are doing it too? It is unnatural. An affront to the grand plan. Yeah, that's, um... Yeah, they're cannibals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they, um, oh boy. Yeah, that, uh, oh boy. Oh, poor dead Braxton. Poor dead, dead Braxton. Well, hey, they were... Alright, listen. Um, is there anything to steal in here? No, of course not. Great. What if we simply uh left what if we simply just kind of took our things and walked out the door and we don't necessarily have to we should probably kill those people shouldn't we yeah we should probably kill at least mom and pop there's the levi didn't do anything wrong levi's too stupid to do anything wrong presumably 
kind of don't care about these people seeing me steal them, steal from them right now. Also, where did Lizzie go? Oh boy. Oh, but you know we could just leave. We could just leave. We could walk out the door right now, never come back. Yeah. Yeah. We should probably go downstairs. Hi. But what's this? You're tracking blood into the kitchen. <laughs> oh dear. You've been nosy, haven't you? Maybe a little. Maybe a little. You know, it's uh it's one of my better qualities. I'm I'm a I'm a bit nosy. How very rude. So rude. Time to teach you some manners. Come. Okay. Well, um. There we go. Max, are you falling over the Dust to dust. Or in this case, bloody bones to bloody bones. <laughs> Ain't deserve to die so clean. Clean? I roasted three of them with a flamethrower. Max beat one to death with a wrench. How dirty do you want to... Yeah, it could probably have gotten dirtier, actually. What do you have on you? Oh, poor dead Levi. You were probably too stupid to actually... Eh, who knows. Poor dead Lizzie. You were also too stupid. Oh, hey, rocket candies. Sort of. Not poor dead Edgar. You were very stupid in that you attacked a man with a flamethrower. You deserved what you got, bud. Ah, <sighs> sigh. Cannibals. Off we go. All right, we could return to Velma, but... I mean, fuck, we're out here. We might as well you keep doing out here type stuff. For instance, let's, uh, let's activate Bolt with his name. What is this? Sanjar needs a Bolt 52 to defend Stellar Bay. It's like right here. And we can learn some stuff about Sanjar and get more blackmail material. More blackmail. Who can say no to more blackmail? Certainly not me. And especially not Jack Necktie. Oh, fuck me. There's another Colossus there. Great. Just great. That's just amazing. All right. Hey, friends, do you want to, uh... Do you want to maybe kill the guy? We've got a fight on our hands. I'm going. Okay, don't spew acid at me. Good work, team. Here they come. Oh. Are there more? Don't mess with us. Yeah. Oh, hey, you have a key to the building. That's convenient. Leaded armor. Let's uh, do not lick armor. <laughs> yes, let's not lick that armor. I think it'll be okay if we don't lick the armor. Okay, so the building is, like, right here. But... It's a whole other part of the world. Careful. Only things you'll find in the ruins are liable to shoot you or eat you. Or both. Well, that thing wants to I eat us, so let's... this place has seen better days. Shoot it. Incoming! Oh, there was one right here. Keyword was... Oh, hi. Uh, I appear to have walked directly into the middle of these. Fortunately, Nioka has the most amazing machine gun in the world. Probably shouldn't have walked directly into the acid spit, but, you know, it's fine. It's fine. 
Yeah, Nioku's spec for critters. That's right. All right, now. Pick up some bits. Don't mind if I do. Weapon parts. More bits, more heavy ammo, more bits. Stogie Slims, some booze, and Adreno, more Stogies. All right. Archives, records, and miscellaneous storage. Executive review for Sanjar Nandi. Sanjar has a bad habit of padding his reports with numbers and statistics. Not very good with slogans, jingles, or taglines. Presentations are dry, lacking in emotional appeal, and funny references. <laughs> Displays a noted tendency to complete work rather than delegating it, a trend unbecoming in upper management. How dare he? How dare he? Well, you know, hold on. At a certain level, managing is all about delegating. On the other hand, you know, Sanjar's work habits suggest a preoccupation with details and a startling lack of vision. We cannot recommend him for further advancement. He needs better interpersonal communication, brevity, delegation, and idea generation. Hmm. Interesting. You know, I I could see how a company like the board or or a company like Monarch or whatever might not be totally in love with with Sanjar. He seems like a decent enough fella, but you know, that's not an unfair criticism. Uh, executive authorization required to proceed. I will totally proceed. Thank you. Graham's understanding of product messaging and branding is impressive for a low-level editor, has a knack for memorable slogans and taglines. Issues with brevity shows consistent disregard for prescribed fonts and formats. Ooh. Subversive undertones. Oh, no. What about uh, Dora Erickson? Real knack for brief but compelling presentations supported by catchy slogans. Her delegation skills are also top-notch. She can build a lengthy meeting around any topic and emerge with plenty of work assigned. Oh, oh, you're, you're not coming at this from the right place here. Stunning, I know. Uh, why would we delete all of these? I know Sanjar wants us to, but... Hmm. I mean... It might be good to... What, what's, the op what's the other option, though? Like, can I use this for blackmail somehow? You found Sanjar's executive review. It was less than flattering. Hmm. Maybe I could just hang on to it. Get some blackmail on Sanjar. I kind of don't see the point in... Also, wow, this is a really good helmet. Can probably give that to Ellie. She might like that. I don't know. Having the data is of real... It's really of no use to us. We're just going to delete all of them. There we go. We made friends for Sanjar. We did a thing for him. I keep hitting escape when I want to leave things when I should be hitting tab or something. Oh, hello? Hello? I hear boots out there. Wait, can Rax for boots? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Raps can wear boots. Uh, get away. I'm just fucking with you. Uh-oh. I ran in here and, um, now the door's locked. Little help? You got locked in? It's easier than it sounds, all right? Next time you get chased by raptodons, you let me know the rationality of your decisions. Fair point. Phew. Thanks, mister. My buddy had a key, but I ain't heard him in a while. He locked me in here and took off. Probably got munched. 
So look for a dead guy, I guess. Or a rat. <laughs> Maybe it's in a rat belly. Gross. That would be gross. Uh, I think I already have it, though. Oh, much obliged. Ah, oh, phew. Thank you so much. It was getting all stuffy in there, and I was getting a mite lightheaded, and I think maybe I was going to die. Now I'm out here, and I'm headed back to Amber Heights. Still landing yourself in trouble, eh, Hux? Oh, hi, Nyoka. Um, you mind giving me an escort back home? I'm... Oh, you're traveling with someone. Never mind. Also, I know this character's name is Huxley, but this is just Woody, right? You got the yellow shirt. You got the red neckerchief. This is fucking Woody. What What are you doing here, Woody? Go back to Andy's house or something. You know, normally if you help somebody out, the, I don't help people for free. What? I ain't got nothing on me. How's about a heaping helping of appreciation and respect? How about you put a light on your face? How about that? <laughs> you know, by being shaved by me, you have entered into a non-negotiable contract. <laughs> I can't buy ammunition with appreciation and respect. Yes, this is Woody from Toy Story. He's got the, the, the shirt and the, 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 the... Shut up. Uh, that's true. Okay, fine. Here. Thank you. Uh, with the trouble you cost me, you're dying here. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, 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 you're fine. Have fun. Thanks a lot, mister. That is totally kind of a... Sort of looks like Woody. A little bit, maybe. I don't know. Hey, Bolt 52 cartridge. Doot, doot, doot. And another Mac pick. Mag picks are now pretty much as ubiquitous as uh, bobby pins, so that's good. Unfortunately, they don't weigh anything. Let's uh, let's continue heading south. Let's do a bunch more stuff here on Monarch. Let's go do a family matter. What's that again? All right, Tucker Needham's in Amber Heights. Well, let's go to Amber Heights, I guess. It's only 650 meters that away. It'll give us time to hydrate. Because CBX wants to see a hydrate. Well, hey, Marauders exist. Here we go. One down. work, Nioka. I mentioned recently that I like you, because you're, you're very good. Alright, we've leveled up again. What do we think? Uh, I've got... Could get my sneak or my hack up. Crouch move speed up. Hack auto mechanicals. Hmm. Let's see here. The first item in every locked container, which is free to open, can be stolen without consequence. That's probably cool. Uh, do I want to do anything else for long guns? No, I think we're good on that. Yeah, let's just keep going down this, uh, this dialogue tree. Fuck it. Exclamation point, fuck it. I'm getting my persuade up to 70. look at some of these tier 3 perks. Plus 50% science weapon damage. Ooh. After killing an enemy. Okay. Your next attack after killing an enemy, an enemy is a guaranteed crit. That's cool. Uh, increase the armor rating and skill bonus from any armor you wear. That's good. Whole bunch of carry capacity. Oh, wow. That might be... I'm going to take that at some point. Whenever you are affected by a harmful combat effect, you do more damage. That's cool. Uh, when you are low health, you deal increased damage. Headshot kills explode, damaging nearby enemies. Ooh. That's neat. Revive downed companions. That's cool. 
Your ranged attacks reduce the target's armor rating by one point per hit. Oh, wow. These are very cool. I like these a lot. Let's go... I like this one. Reducing armor rating, because what, what I've noticed is, like, my sniper rifle is a really good single shot. And it, you're supposed to use that against heavily armored enemies. But heavily armored enemies have a ton of hit points. And I find myself going with the assault rifle against them. Taking this perk is going to make the assault rifles more powerful against... Okay, yeah, tier 3 perks are great. Now that I know how good tier 3 perks are, taking flaws just became that much more appealing of an option. Try me. Oh, did that thing just jump? Oh, hi. Yeah, Max, there's a Raptodon right in front of you, bud. Okay. Oh, hi! You didn't actually kill everybody! Silly me, assuming you had actually killed everybody! Everyone alright? Okay, have you actually killed everyone now? Thank you. Okay, so Tucker is off that away. The road looks like it's going that way eventually, so. Let's keep on going down the road here. Okay, so let's go this way. Oh, hi. Here we go. Nice kill. with us. Well, that was, uh, impressive. Into the... Oh, hi there. Man, you're dumb. Huh? You hiding? Here we go! Here we go! Max, move. Max, you're getting shot. That scout was impressively stupid. Yeah, no wonder they don't give you any gear if you're going to be a lookout and be that dumb. Dude is standing right here, and I'm in front of that mover, and he's like, Huh? Is there someone out there? Aha. More Raptodons. Hey, Raptodon. Here we go. We are just that good. Ha ha! Sucks to be you guys. This road is probably supposed to be like super dangerous and imposing, but um, at this point, it's you know, not. Oh, I thought I missed that. Come out. Come out. Here we go. One down. Good work, Max. Couldn't have done it without you, bud. Okay, being a sniper is is very fun and getting to be a little bit mean to the enemies, but, you know, whatever. Oh no, you had a flamethrower. Good thing you never got to use it. Okay. So here we are at the Amber Heights crossroads, but there's a box right here. I'm just gonna empty these boxes before going this way, because this is the way we're supposed to go. Well, hello. And welcome to the home of the Iconoclasts. I'm Rose. Please, take a pamphlet. 
In it, you'll find everything you need to know about Graham, his philosophist truths, and the iconoclast way. He wrote it himself, you know? Oh, oh no, I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting. We're out of pamphlets. Oh no. Gosh, blast it. Uh, you're offering me a pamphlet you don't have. I'm so sorry. It's a habit, I suppose. We used to have plenty, but we ran out of paper and ink. I smell a fetch quest. Ever since the corporations left, it's been hard to come by the basics. But you know what we do have? Hope. Freedom. Hey. This is the only place in Halcyon you'll find it. Well. No corporations, no shackles, no problems. I mean, there is that group on Terra One. And listen, I... I, no problems is an interesting position to take, given the whole Raptodons and Marauders and etc. thing. I know. That's not what I meant it's to say. It's quite revolutionary. We're a community here. No jobs, no shifts, just people who help each other. You're welcome to stay with us, so long as you can earn your keep. So what you're saying is, from each according to his ability, to each according to his need? That shit'll never work. Uh, I'm looking for Tucker. The new boy. Yes, he's quite clever. He took to our teachings very quickly. He's not dead. Last I saw him, he was headed into one of the buildings up the hill. Fantastic. Thanks a bunch, Rose. Have a flower of some kind. Now, when you say from each according to his... Philosophists. Yeah. The folks in Amber Heights always manage to find a bottle or two of the good stuff. Keen scavengers, I tell you. J j just say it a little louder, Max, so everybody can hear you. Damned philosophists. This is Huxley's terminal. Stay out. This means you. Okay. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna read Huxley's we're gonna read Huxley's diary though. Graham taught me how to meditate. Coming back with the delivery, you put it on Zora's t Oh, no. Recognition, Huxley. It's your own eternal truth bubbling up to the surface. Hmm. I mostly remembered that sitting on rocks hurts. <laughs> oh, Huxley. Zora's really smart, but oh, that's a naughty word, Huxley. I lose bits, I get really upset. She can drop thousands and she's fine. Aha. Uh -huh. Buy ammunition from Bronson. Don't think I want to. She said I should just in case. Yeah. Aha, uh -huh. you found a door code, right. Oh. Oh, she smiled in a really sad way and said Huxley shouldn't worry about a promotion. Oh, that's mean and also sad. Terminal was making a horrible beeping noise. Someone smashed it while I was out. Oh, no. Whoever smashed poor Terminal, if you're reading this, sucks sulfur. Well, you know what? We'll repair the computer for Huxley. Because we can. That might also be a quest of some kind. Hey, can you tell Huxley that I fixed this thing? This armor itches something awful. You could take it off. No one's no one is invading. No one is invading. You could just yeet the armor. You could yeet the Alright, you know what, dumbass? And we're stalking. And we're stalking. And you're shutting up. What was that? Say what? I didn't see nothing. Do these guys get mad when I start hacking their thing? What's that? Uh, apparently they get mad when I start hacking their thing. Eh, yeah, good to know. Alright, I don't care that much. Bye. Tucker. Tucker. Looks like I'm not the only new face around here. What do I call you, stranger? Tucker, you're like 20 years older than... Anyway, name's... Uh... Hold on, let me check my ID card. Uh, right. Alex Hawthorne. 
You here to join the iconoclasts? Help us free this world? No. You're the you're the you're the tiny small child who I am not a little boy. Haven't been one for decades, no matter what my mama wishes. I take it she's still looking for me. I'd hope she'd accept my decision. Uh, uh it, Tucker, you're, you're supposed to be needing rescue. According to her, stepping foot outside of the house in broad daylight is too dangerous. My entire life, she crammed a fear of danger down my throat. Don't go play with friends. Bantasaurs will tear your arms off. Don't leave the city. Raptodons will spit acid on your face. Marauders can violate you. You'd fall in a sulfur pool. I stuck around way too long, ruled by her fears. I'm 42 years old, but she wow. still sees me as a little boy in need of her protection. I won't stand for it, I tell you. Hmm. I see. Tucker, go talk to your mother. Just say words. Say the words to her that you said to me. All right, Tucky? All right. She doesn't want to see me as anything other than her baby boy. Why would I go back again? What'll be different this time? Maybe we can off your mom. Maybe we can off your mom. You've been outside of Stella Bay for weeks. <laughs> Teach her the iconoclast philosophies. Convert her so she might join you in freedom. Yes. Yes. Spread the good news, Tucker. <sighs> You're right. I can do this. I just need to stand my ground and make her see she can't control me anymore. No one can. Exactly. Now do what I tell you to do, damn it. Huxley, stay off this machine. <laughs> I know your terminal's out of storage, but if you break this one, things are gonna go tits up around here. Oh boy. Uh, view work orders. Steam coming out of the roof. Pipes on top of my house are gonna burst. That's a problem. Someone ought to fix this before the Okay, that seems bad. Arcing electricity at the bar. Uh, with Science 55, I could remotely shut off the power going through the bar's side panels. I don't have that, but I could. Haven't heard from the Rapt House in a while. Sent Milton over, ain't heard from him either. Someone needs to go check it out. Let's, uh, let's remotely reset the communications board. Okay, good work. Dear Diary. <laughs> oh, Huxley. Huxley, you fucking idiot. Goodbye, work order. Uh, the door to the examiner's residence above the med bay is stuck and completely sealed. Well, let's open it. All right. Is there any way that I could get... Uh, my science up to 55. What is my science at now? It's 39. So I would need to find 16 somewhere, huh? Well, what do I have that boosts science? I think I have something. I have tech skills. Tech skills is science. Uh, I have science plus three. Hold on. Hold on. I might be able to get there. Tech skills plus five. Science plus three. Yes. Yes. We're getting there. I'm at science 47. Let's try taking some trip tees. Come on, big book of science. Yes. All right. Let's use that. And now I have Science 51. Dang it. Dang it. All right. So we sent, uh, we sent Tucker on his way. So I guess we're good? Question mark? Doesn't seem right, but... What else is there to do here? Yeah, the only active quest is leave. So I guess we should leave. 
we'll come back to Amber Heights at some other point, I suppose. Or not. Maybe we're just uh, done with this place forever. All I'm saying is it ain't worth it. It's gonna taste like sulfur all the same. Nuh-uh. Taro's got that sweet blood. So? You gotta boil it or you'll get sick. And then all that sweetness takes to the air anyhow. Nah, don't boil it. We're gonna get sick all the same. Might as well enjoy it. Don't boil? Do you want the runs? Better than tasting sulfur and dirt every damn day. Gross. It's a hell of a catch-22 you got there. Or, given the diarrhea involved. I ought to mention, the Iconoclasts are loyal folk. Treat them right, they'll do the same. Turn on them, they'll open fire without a second thought. Damn philosophists. <laughs> Is that all you have to say about these people, Max? Anyway, as I was saying, uh, your catch-22 given the fecal matter involved, is more of a catch number two. That was totally worth going back to. Absolutely. I'm just saying, if we did need to dispose of a body, this would be a good spot for it. I hear acid baths are all the rage in Byzantium. Anyone fancy a dip? Stop, Stop, Captain. Captain. Oh, hi. Don't. Don't swipe for me. Libations on me, folks. Apparently, my uh, weapon is in shitty condition again. Now it's not. Amazing how that works. Oh no, I'm down under a thousand spare pieces of heavy ammo. Whatever will I do? Do. Oh. Bad lookout. You're a very bad lookout. You guys are also bad lookouts. Holy crap. Do you seriously? I'll find you. I smell blood. I'm out in play. Can you seriously not? Incoming. Get down. Nice hit. But we're good. Okay, I really like Neo because she's very good. Oh, is that a manta pillar I just saw? That's probably not good. That's not a thing about which I should really care. All right. Fallbrook's on the other side of the bridge there if you need a drink. We're only halfway to the mountain, so might consider stopping in. Nope. Think we're good. We'll go to Fallbrook later. We do have a quest for Vicar Max, but one thing at a time. Oh, look. More marauders. Come on. Stand still. Or don't. You'll be still either way, really. Might be one of the most badass moments of the entire game right there. I'm proud of that. Let's see how I fuck it up. So much fun. Look northwest. That ain't it, but marauders sometimes camp inside the buildings there. Steer clear unless you fancy getting shot. Westbound still. I'll let you know when we can start ascending. All right. 
So we should... Oh, boy. Mantises. Great. Awesome. Take you. Probably shouldn't fuck with these guys, but, you know. Solid kill. Don't mess with us. Yeah, we appear to be cool. Excellent. Oh, hi, guys. Come out and play. I smell blood. You are in for That's the last of them. <laughs> These guys are so dumb. They're so blind. You're just dumb. You just. Oh, you're big. Hi. Hello, friend. Mega Raptodon, huh? Oh, I'm sure this is fine. I probably don't want to get asked by that thing. Okay, you know what? Hold on. This is th this has gone on long enough. We're going to save. We're going to save right here. And we're going to go into our settings and we're going to we're going to look at this. Th is there Kay Okay. Listen. This is how the uh, expect a moderate challenge. I would love a moderate challenge game. I have not been afraid for my life legitimately in quite some time. So we're going to up the difficulty to hard. Now, the last time I played, I kicked the game's ass and then up to, up to the difficulty to hard. The game immediately started kicking my ass. So this might just be a bad idea. But let's, let, let's do something here. 